This image made global headlines. A defendant in a court in Belarus had cut his own throat after saying he was warned that if he didn't plead guilty to taking part in mass anti-government protests, his family and neighbours would face prosecution. His name is Serpan Latipau, and his story illustrates how ordinary people have been swept up in the political turmoil that has gripped Belarus since August last year. This was how Latipau's activism began, handing out flowers to people at a women's protest on August the 12th, 2020. It was three days after Alexander Lukashenko was declared to have won a landslide victory in a presidential election prompting nationwide demonstrations. There was evidence and a widespread understanding that the results were falsified to deliver Lukashenko a sixth term in office. By the following month, Latipau's neighbourhood was at the heart of a lively opposition movement with impromptu pro-democracy concerts held in a courtyard dubbed Change Square. It featured a mural of two DJs who'd been arrested after playing a protest song. Some nights, masked men would vandalise the mural. The next day, residents would repaint it. One morning, we had this mural, and we really liked it. We found it in it and cultural values, especially in the spirit of the time. Напоминает нам о подвиге тех людей, которые не согласны с действующей системой, не согласны с постоянным и циничным нарушением действующего законодательства. Days later, Latipau was arrested while trying to prevent the mural from being painted over by the authorities. He had insisted the security forces identify themselves. They refused and marched him away. Latipau studied in Britain to be a tree surgeon and set up his own business in Belarus. In 2019, he was profiled in local media after winning a large tender to eradicate gypsy moths in Minsk. But State TV presented him as a radical. His neighbours responded by holding vigils on Change Square. Stepan Latipov, our neighbour. Stepan, our neighbour. Stepa, our friend. Dad, Stepa, our neighbour. After his arrest in September, his father and aunt were allowed to see him just once before the court hearing where Latipov cut his throat. If I'm not mistaken, it was in March. И тогда он еще был в адекватной камере. После этого его перевели в другую камеру, где, по всей видимости, и началась, началась прессовка, и начали обрабатывать его. Дело в том, что суде не обратили, судья не обратил внимания, но Степана привели с большим синяком под правым глазом и с перевязанным запястьем и с отекшим лицом. Latipau was taken from the court to a Minsk hospital where his condition was said to be stable.